Hey y'all, it's Natalie, and today I am doing something I haven't done before. It's an outside of the page protector 8x8, but I do them in my Life Crafted, so I thought, why not do a little bit of a larger version in my 8x8 album that I'm doing for our recent trip? I'm also going to be doing some of um, the Heidi Swap stamping technique that I have been using um, in the class that she just let loose um, called stamp therapy. It's a lot of fun. So um, follow along with me and I hope you enjoy it. I have these photos of us at an arcade on vacation and you know it was a black light arcade so it was real dark and then of course all the neon lights from the games give off an interesting vibe in the photos um so i kind of just ran them through my normal um editing process which is um i think it's called light bright in color uh i don't even know what it's called the color app and um I like the way that they look and so I thought I would help brighten them up by this with the stamping right so I picked a bunch of really bright colors I picked yellow lime green light pink bright pink light purple and dark purple I'm using distress oxide ink and in this one tag I am using the Alta new tie-dye stamp um, I thought that would be really fun for um, an arcade page so this one is just going to be like um, some interest. It's not gonna be a journaling block or anything, but there, uh, I'm gonna do three overlapping tie-dyes here. And then, um, yeah, I do do some wordplay. So I actually do a little ombre stamping. So I did the light purple on half of the stamp and then the dark purple on the rest. And it says around town, and I'm just gonna do it up and down and it will sit next to a photo that kind of has some purples in it. So I'm happy with how that one turned out. And next, um, this is from the newish, I think the June Stamp Society. Um, it has the definitions and the words. So I'm stamping the definition for the word play or playful. Um, I, I put the yellow block down and then I'm gonna stamp it in pink. And the Distress Oxides are nice because they don't blend into one another. So the pink will sit nicely on top of the yellow once it's dried um, and it won't try to blend in. And then I have this cool game console or controller that I stamp in lime green. And then I'm gonna do the word playful and play. Um, one is in like block letters and one is in Heidi's handwriting. So I'm gonna kind of overlap those. And then I'm just gonna add a lot of stars and I'm gonna do a couple of like first and second generation stamping with the stars, um, which kind of gives a little nod to the stars on the background of the paper, although I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see them um, because the tags kind of cover them all up. But I just cut all of these tags um, with my Cricut and then I printed the photos in two by threes, a little bit, they're a little bit smaller than two by three and they fit perfectly in these little tags. So there you can see I'm doing, Heidi calls it echo stamping, but um, I've always called it like first or second generation stamping, sometimes even third <laughs> generation. Um, but you get the different tones of the same stamp when you do that. So I'm really happy with how that turns out. So that's kind of like my title card, I guess you could say because it's really legible, you don't have to turn your head to read it. And then this is gonna be the journaling card, so I'm gonna do some writing on this. Um, so I used one of the little blocks um, from one of the, the Stamp Society sets, and then it had this long extending line that you can make your journaling block larger. So I'm gonna write on the left, but I'm gonna add in a little bit of titling and, and other things on the right there. So that says Epic Adventures, and then I'm gonna add the word unforgettable. I do put a little bit too much pressure on the word unforgettable. I'm not like loving the way it looks, but it wasn't enough for me to like redo the whole thing. Um, and again, it, it's stamping and it's gonna be a little messy, at least this type of stamping. Um, it's gonna be a little imperfect and that's fine. It lends to the vibe of like the chaos that was going on <laughs> at the um, arcade. Uh, we were waiting for our condo to be ready for us because we arrived a little early and we went to this arcade and just I don't know if it's just stemming from like their time when they used to play in the arcade all the time but 
My in-laws are very good at winning lots of tickets. And so we ended up with like a really stupid amount of tickets at the end of this. And my kids both got like lightsabers and you know, just how you want to start a, a relaxing trip is with lightsabers that make lots of noises and that they're going to hit each other with. It's always really fun. <laughs> So I am chopping the corners so that these fit really nicely onto the tags and that it made them fit perfectly. I was really thrilled about that. <clears throat> and I am adding a lot of adhesive because remember, this is outside the page protector. So we wanna make sure that everything stays stuck down really well. I'm loving how that looks. So now I'm gonna add the ribbon and it just kind of really makes the page, right? Especially because it's gonna be outside the page protector, it adds a lot of great texture. Oh, I did rough up the edges and I inked them up with the pink ink, which I don't think is going to be shown on camera, but I did kind of just run my ink pad around each of the tags to give it a little bit of pop off the page. So um, this isn't the place that you come to learn to tie bows or <laughs> ribbons at all. Find that on another channel. I will be fast forwarding through almost all of this, but I did want to show you that I connected these two where the tags kind of meet in the middle, the holes meet in the middle. Um, I thought that was like a fun interest to include. And um, I just, I worked with it a little bit because I did want a little bit of space there. So that was a little work that I had to do to kind of make sure that I kept that space and had a pretty bow again. That's not what we're learning here, <laughs> but um, I off screen, I will kind of do different loops in the tags, um, some bows and some just like, you know, your normal tag knot. I don't even know what you call it um, to kind of in, in a few different colors in three different colors. So um, just kind of dip, make it different on each little tag and make it interesting. And boom, there you can see, <laughs> there you can see it's different for each little tag. And oh, now I'm gonna work on my journaling. I had to try out a different color pen, like literally every color of the stamping ink I had. I finally decided to do purple. So I do my journaling here in purple. I won't make you watch all of that either. And then it's time to adhere everything down. So again, this is um, outside the page protector. So I wanted to make sure to adhere it all down really well. So I do like three or four strips of tape behind each tag and um, kind of started in the middle and worked my way out to make sure that I had room for everything that everything was going to fit just perfectly since there wasn't a lot of room for error and yeah I worked with that for a little while so again I'm gonna fast forward through all of that but um I'm really happy with how this page turned out. I'm just gonna use my Nouveau adhesive to kind of guide the bows and ribbons where I want them to be. And I'll just put it like a tiny dot of glue and stick the ribbon on it. And then when it dries, like the ribbon will stay there hopefully and not flop all over the page and kind of like obscure the photo or obscure the journaling. Um, that's just a little tip that I like to do when I'm using ribbon. And that's gonna be about it. I'll put my affiliate links down below if you'd like to pop over to a cherry on top um, and purchase any of the inks or the papers that I've used here. Um, the paper is Heidi Swap as well. Um, and the inks are Distress Oxide by Ranger and Tim Holtz. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Y'all have a great day, bye y'all.